It should come as no surprise that we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2 today, and we have some disclaimers to get into and some obviously new information and new uh, speculation happening out there on the internet for reveals for the Nintendo Switch 2 this week and uh, in the future. But before we dive in, look, I'm pretty excited because today we got a little special message from a brand new 3D platformer. This video is sponsored by the Smurfs Dreams, a brand new 3D platformer that recently released for PlayStation. PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series, Xbox One, PC, and yes, folks, what we care about the most, Nintendo Switch. The game features a solo and co-op play mode, and during my time playing the game, I can really feel how inspired this game is in both its art direction and gameplay style with the Mario franchise. There are a ton of collectibles and a unique set of tools you can use in each level to create a fun atmospheric experience, solving puzzles and platforming all over the place. The game features some great cutscenes as well, telling the story of Gargamel once again executing a cunning plan to capture all of the Smurfs. It is up to you or you and a friend to foil his plot and save all of your Smurf friends. The game is full of charm and you can nab it for yourself for just $39.99 by checking out the link in the description. Before I dive in, I want to give a couple disclaimers. I don't really feel like these disclaimers need to be said, but I think it's just a good reminder to everyone out there about two things. One, I am not Nintendo. There is no Nintendo announcements in this video about Nintendo Switch 2. I kind of think that's pretty obvious, and if we were covering a Nintendo announcement, we make it pretty damn clear in our title and thumbnail, but yeah, at this time, Nintendo has not announced anything about the Nintendo Switch 2 officially since May when they said the Nintendo Switch successor would have an announcement this fiscal year. Now, setting that aside, we gotta get to point number two. And disclaimer number two is, hey, uh, this channel, does a lot of talk, hypothesizing, speculating, and discussion around Nintendo rumors, Nintendo leaks, uh, and stuff before products get revealed, and stuff when products are revealed but haven't come out yet. It is a huge thing of what this channel does. We've done it with a number of things, such as 3D All-Stars, and Mario Wonder, and Odyssey, and Splatoon 3, and Xenoblade 3, and... Tears of the Kingdom and Echoes of Wisdom, Mario and Luigi, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We do this with pretty much everything Nintendo has going on. And the hottest thing they have at the moment is this upcoming platform just due to a rather weak, and this is no offense to Mario and Luigi and Donkey Kong, a rather weak slate of games at present with actual release dates coming ahead. We basically have two games and neither one of them are to me needle movers like Mario Party Jamboree was probably the last one that was a significant deal for Nintendo so I want to just point out if that's not what you're into if you're not into that talk you're not into that speculation my channel is just probably not for you and it's okay for it not to be nothing you say is going to change what my channel is uh take some personal responsibility for continuing to click on things that you don't like all right Ah, let's dive right in now and get to some of the stuff because we have a couple updates to uh, Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, both of these things could actually have to do with this week. Uh, either way, they're about things relating to the console. And so I want to dive right into this first one. And we got to talk about uh, Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa, otherwise known as PH Brazil or just Brazil in some online communities, not the country. It's just his username. And uh, he is a reporter, right? He's been a journalist for a long time in the video game space over in brazil and he's now independent and doing his own thing and his own podcast and other things he's traveling to all the various events and he's very well connected and he's proven that over time earlier this year he was the first person to break the report that later got corroborated about an internal delay for nintendo switch 2 he also is the person that told us that the june direct would be the last general direct dedicated to nintendo switch besides a partner showcase that would come out later 
we've only had a partner showcase direct since then officially and so so far that's been right he also was the one saying that any sort of events nintendo had planned for september got moved up to august and there would be multiple events and we got multiple events right we got the museum direct we got the partner showcase direct we got the indie world all of that happened within a one week span so yeah uh he was right about that and right on a number of other things and then other things he said are still pending at least for this year and he went on his live stream a couple days ago and was answering questions like we do on our live streams i do the same thing and one of those answers just due to the language barrier got confused with people saying that he was guaranteeing nintendo switch 2 would be shown today or tomorrow now he is very hyped for this week but we now have the full translations as provided by another fellow brazilian necro felipe over on x and so full shout out to him and here is what that translation says because there's still some excitement to be had here so he says there's a misunderstanding in the web regarding ph words on yesterday's live stream that can lead mostly to the non-brazilians to take conclusions aside on what really wanted to mean with his opinions speculations related switch to reveal time so here we go the transcript and I, I don't know. I don't know when the Switch 2 will be announced. I have conjecture. I have informed speculation at most. Like, people in the industry, this is a quote, are saying that they think it's going to be here next week because this or that thing, such game, has to be announced with the Switch 2 logo and so on. So, I don't know when it is, but I think it's next week. I think it's next week. I, I, next week. I'll say it right now. Next week. I don't know. Monday, Tuesday, at key times, I'll open Nintendo's Twitter to press F5 there. Man, because it's everything. Everything indicates that it's now, man. It would be really weird if it was later than next week. And then he goes on to explain the relationship with the date and the financial results being released in November. Now, what you take away from this is he doesn't actually know when it's going to be revealed, but he does think it's worth paying attention to Nintendo's social accounts at key times today and tomorrow. And that's probably not just because like he thinks it'll be announced this week, but it's not saying it will be announced on Monday or Tuesday, but there could be a tweet advertising a future announcement for the next day, today or tomorrow. That's kind of the way he's looking at it. Probably ruling out Thursday due to Halloween. Uh, but I do find it quite interesting to at least say that he's very confident. As I said, Brazil has proven himself to be one of the most reliable insiders at the moment for Nintendo. So if he's confident and looking forward to a reveal this week, that's definitely something that we should be excited about. Uh, again, he doesn't know, and he makes that very clear. It is just his informed speculation, which means he has information, and he gave an example, but that information doesn't necessarily mean it came directly from Nintendo. So I just sit back and go, hey, man, if it ain't this week, and I'm on record saying this, if they don't reveal the thing by November 5th during the investors meeting at the latest, I'm officially on Team 2025. Remember, these conversations are mostly for fun, and I love getting hyped, I absolutely do, but we have to keep in context that most of the time we're talking about rumors, we're talking about these conversations, we're, we're, we're hyping things up. It still needs to be remembered that it's all just for fun. I am very excited for this platform. I legitimately am looking forward to enjoying this reveal with my entire community and fellow YouTubers out there, but still, Everything's going to be okay if it's not revealed this week. The world will keep turning. The sun will co still come up tomorrow. And everything's going to be fine. And Nintendo will reveal this thing when they damn well please. That being said, it's not the only rumor sort of speculation thing we have going on out there. Because... You guys might remember someone we haven't talked about in a while, Nash Weedle. Now, I don't find Nash Weedle to be one of the most reliable insiders out there, uh, but if I'm willing to talk about Necro Felipe and uh, how he translated this stuff from a, a reliable person in Brazil, I think it's notable that he seems to be backing this stuff coming from Nash Weedle, at least in some regards. So we're going to uh, go over this tweet from Nash Weedle because it does have to do with a major third-party game for Switch 2, and it goes as follows. Leak Express. A port of Elden Ring for Switch 2 is in development, which will receive the game in a definitive edition. It seems that Virtuous could be responsible for this port, and that it would arrive by the end of 2025. Now, as I said, Necrofilipe, as you're seeing here, uh, did back this up a bit, saying he heard the same thing back in March, but he can't confirm any release timing. So there's at least two people sort of backing this. Again, neither one of these people I find to be like the most reliable, uh, uh, you know, supposed insiders or journalists, but uh, they 
both have had a couple of things come correct. They've also had things not be right. Uh, but I do think for a long time now, we've talked about how Elden Ring would make sense as like the perfect game to bring over to Switch 2, not just because it won game of the year, but because it's still incredibly popular. The Erd Tree DLC this year being one of the highest selling, highest reviewed things all year long. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do any more DLC for the game, but hey, look, definitive editions that put everything together, re-releases, uh, updated graphics and resolution. That's all things that frequently happen with the most popular games so of course it's going to happen with this one and it was never on switch now from software has showed a little support to switch we did get dark souls remastered of course we haven't gotten two or three but hey it got to start somewhere switch 2 is going to be a more capable system for these third-party games so to me this is just sort of something that makes sense even if we just disregard the fact that it's now a rumor i just kind of feel like this is a no does sort of thing but it also does go into know like when do they want to announce this thing like are they holding back the announcement because of this like they're going to have a definitive edition for ps5 and xbox series x as well pc but like they're just waiting for the reveal is this one of those games that brazil has heard about a third party game that really wants to reveal something and wants to put the switch 2 logo in it and they're just kind of waiting uh, of note we did have that you could replay thing come out not really reveal we already had it announced but they announced the platforms for console and it's coming to uh nintendo switch 2 at least based on their teasing and it turns out that brazil said he actually knew about it that was one of the games he knew was coming to switch 2 way earlier this year which suggests if brazil is to be believed that platonic games has actually had a dev kit for a huge chunk of this year. Uh, so look, if the dev kits are out there, like we've been thinking they were since last year, we've seen production ramping up based on the shipping data, massive jump in August, probably even a bigger jump in September. We'll find that out in a week or two here. It sure seems to me like things are ramping up to get this thing out early next year. And that does make this week in earnest to me, the last stand for team 2024. Of course, then again, I am giving us all the way till Tuesday of next week for the true last stand but uh yeah it just kind of feels right also one thing to note as we get to the end here on why all the smoke is coming up now for a reveal this week you know we've had other weeks where there have been little rumors here and there but this week there's just a lot of smoke around it it's really about that investors meeting nintendo likes to tease investors they like to give them a peek into the future and give them hope for the future of nintendo and they'll do that with movies they'll do that with uh the theme parks and all that but the video game sector is Nintendo's biggest bread and butter. It's where they make most of their money. And right now, they only have two games with release dates. And one of them releases shortly after the investor meeting in Mario and Luigi. And the other one is a third time port remake of Donkey Kong Country Returns in January. So Nintendo right now just doesn't really even have anything to make investors get excited. Like you could say, well, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Sure, they could say that, but metroid isn't been an ip that sells extremely well so is that really what you're going to hype investors with well legend za sure but then there's this terra leak thing going on and i'm sure an investor will ask about that terra leak during a q a very curious how nintendo responds to that because nintendo does have a little bit to do with the security of these accounts but i am just going to float out there that uh i think nintendo has to say something about something whether it's a direct whether it's just announcing another game to come out in february or march but nintendo it feels like they need to say something just because this investors meeting right now outside of recapping the last three months they don't really have anything to talk about with the future of the company for the first time in a very long time and the last time they were entering a period like this where there really wasn't much to talk about to hype people up was october of 2016 when nintendo also at the time had very little to talk about heading into that investors meeting but then they revealed nintendo switch and i know we can talk about holiday sales we can talk about all the reasons that you know you guys think it shouldn't be revealed but the number one reason is just they ain't got shit to tell investors to be confident in where nintendo's heading right now so uh we'll see what happens thank you guys so much for tuning in i am nathan robojance from nintendo prime and i'll catch you guys in the next video